Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, oh, hello there. I just walked into Cafe Anyway somewhere in Podcastro Valley. The last place on earth. It's FF episode 2638. Mike's Daily Podcast. 2638. And it's been great. Mike Matthews has been on his vacation, my friend. He's been doing things and spending time with his loved ones and getting out and doing some cool things that he doesn't get done during the week because he has to work at his multiple jobs in which he has Mike's Daily Podcast Now, I have discovered some things around Podcastro Valley Mike's doing my daily little staycation podcast and yeah sleeping in late taking naps randomly ah it's good it's good to unplug everybody that's why today is national unplug day now wait a minute it's all american pet photo day if you're listening to this on july 11th which you probably aren't it's also cow appreciation day which now i'm rethinking why i used oh i should have gotten the I ran into quite a few cows yesterday. In fact, I was walking on this uh, trail in Five Canyons, and actually the podcast picture is from Five Canyons from yesterday. But I'm walking on this trail, I'm all by myself. I'm way in the back area of East Bay Regional Park, Park District in Five Canyons. And there's a cow. There's just a cow like hanging out in the shade because it got kind of warm yesterday. Today got much warmer. Tomorrow I'm supposed to cool off a little bit. And I said to the cow, are you okay? And she just kind of looked at me and then she started walking towards me and then passed me and then walked up the road. So I started following her and she met up with all these other cows. Ah, that's where they're going. They have a, they, they have a plan, cows. So I appreciate them. And then I had a burger today. Dang it. I was going, I was doing so good. And then, ah. Uh, Five canyons. Oh my gosh, just walk. I took about six mile walk up and down, up hills, down hills, and it was hot and no shade except for at this one point with the cows. But it was hot and I felt just sapped today too. So see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Yes, we all love blueberry muffins. It's also National Blueberry Muffin Day. And National Mojito Day. Ah, mojitos. My mosquito. A mojito. Oh, and speaking of All-American Pet Photo Day, I've featured many pictures of this guy, the late great Basil the Boxer. Yes, and there he is. We went actually on this trail that I ended up on in five canyons I have done with the late great Basil the Boxer. But yes, he... What, I remember one time a cow chased after him and he was chasing after the cow. He was off leash. Magnification. And well, you really shouldn't have your cow... I mean, your dog off leash around cows. Because all kinds of things can happen. And it got... It was kind of... Uh, well... At, Basil was running backwards and he tripped and fell on his back and the cow went over and sniffed Basil down below and then walked away. And I said to him, thank you for not killing my dog. I guess there's mint leaves in it, lime wedges. You will travel into the incredible universe. And I guess this is one of those days where I'm not going to find out exactly how a mojito is made. It's a traditional Cuban punch. It consists of five ingredients, white rum, sugar, traditionally sugar cane juice, thyme juice, soda water, and mint. Okay, there we go. That's what people may be drinking today, celebrating Mojito Day. And it also is, well, uh, Mike's Daily Podcast. Did we, we did not... Oh my gosh, we missed International Cap Locks the Caps Lock Day. There's some people that was back on the 28th of June. Some people 
They write emails all in caps. What is that? Why? So Starbucks, Chipotle, and a host of other brands all have one thing in common. TikTok rules everything around them. I had Chipotle over the weekend. I got a burrito, a drink, and chips. I walked out of there paying 26 bucks. 26 bucks. It ain't cheap. Thankfully, I had a gift card for 25, which covered just about all of it. And then I'm like, wait, what? I'm still, I still need to add more. Okay. The Fascinating Material Project. FM Project. They are using TikTok. The ever changing whims of the app's 50 million plus daily active users are changing the way businesses develop and release products. It's whatever TikTok wants. Maybe that's what I was paying for when I was at the Chipotle. Restaurants are often modifying menus to satiate demands and ease worker burdens. So Chipotle offered officially added the Keithadilla, an off-menu hack popularized by influencers. Uh, let's see. Keith Lee. And Alexis Frost were the ones behind this. To its menu after customers trying to order it created mayhem in stores. At Starbucks, increasingly complicated TikTok drinks have become the bane of baristas' uh, existences. And it must be because they're coming up with all these things. Let's see, in 2017, pre-TikTok, Starbucks added the customer-created viral pink drink to its menu... And released a bottled version in April. Brands from fashion to food are monitoring trends in fashion and beauty, then working at lightning speed to get a product out before the fad fades. TikTok uh, has moved away from tight, skinny jeans. As we go outside a cafe, anyway, where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Anyway, the last place on earth. TikToks move away from tight, skinny jeans inspired. Aeropostal Aeropostal To increase its loose fit Denim offerings Which went from 7% Of sales in 2020 To 40% sales last year It saw a 15% Increase in profits I find it funny That there are men that force themselves Into skinny jeans That obviously should never put them on They're coming out of the skinny jeans in all kinds of places I'm sure they don't want to be. Dave's Gourmet rushed to bring the viral pink sauce to market in 90 days. All because of TikTok. Interesting, huh? And Starbucks, by the way, the strike union says 3,500 workers at over 150 stores are protesting over alleged pride decor bans, or they did last month anyway, uh, during Pride Month, there was that strike. And, ooh, The Flash did really badly last month. Did you even know it came out? I know the lead actor, the guy that plays The Flash, has all kinds of, well, I've heard stories about his issues that he has, and like he's kidnapped a family with a gun and all kinds of weird stuff, but... This is what I heard So He I don't know if he's the reason why the Flash didn't do well Or people are just getting tired Of the DC superhero movies That come out But It did a 73% decline in its second week The front panel will close automatically James Bond seems to have a favorite EV It isn't a Tesla Alright Mike, take care Thank you, good to see you again (laughs) Told off It will See the EV star supplying the storied British marquee Driven in films by Britain's most famous spy With battery components and technology Oh, it's Lucid Lucid, what's weird is Lucid doesn't make batteries yet It gets their batteries from Panasonic Ah, Panasonic Did we all own a Panasonic radio or boombox or TV at one point? MTV News You hear it First What's been going on Somewhat recently But you might just be enjoying all of this with a mojito Wow, 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 wow As I've been enjoying today 
trying to be, uh, I guess, cognizant of not thinking about work. So I be, I guess, being non-cognizant of things. And I decided to do a podcast. Maybe I shouldn't have done a podcast today. I should just relax. But who, who could keep away from these wonderful birds tweeting out here? That's so relaxing. Look who's here. Hello, my friends. It's Julie, Stu Hartkip, Chef Supervisor. I haven't been here in a long time. My friends. Yeah, I don't know why. But thank you for bringing a snow globe. I brought a snow globe, Mike Matthew. Enjoy it. Oh, it's so soothing to look at the snow globe. Why are you sweating, Mike Matthews? It's kind of hot today in Podcaster Valley. Just got to say, st- the two don't work together. Sweat and snow globes. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. I see you had a conversation with the cow. Mm-hmm. These cows were some of the quietest cows I have ever met. No noise, no mooing. They just make a lot of noise when they walk. I saw this this one cow that was in front of me. That was the earlier story. It actually went off trail and up a really steep part of the hill. Just totally just took it full on. And this is a big old cow with big udders and everything else. And I was amazed. So cows really amaze me. And I appreciate the next show. It's going to be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. If you would like to chime in about anything that we covered today. Oh, yes. The wonders of TikTok. Now will it be the wonders of threads? I have not gotten a threads account yet because I don't want to put it on my phone. I don't want another app on my phone. There's too much as it is. So, Plus, I'd only be promoting the podcast on the app. And it's kind of difficult to do when so much of the podcast is done on desktop and laptop computers and not really on my phone. But you can let me know, 510-228-4640. And with more ways to reach me, it's Ariel. Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.